comes guys getting ready to be put up for the night and poor things just so rotund and ready to pop today is raven's due date so i'm in here with the star of the show for this episode and she's a little bit louder than usual and guys her tendons have been there every day for the last three days like you can just as soon as you put your hand on it you can tell the tendons are tough her whole back end is just real tone and taut it sounds so weird talking about a goat butt like this but all my goat people out there where you're patiently waiting or impatiently waiting in my case on a dota kid like you know you can tell the difference in firmness in their ligaments and in their hindquarters so she I've noticed in the last couple days she's ballooned up um, and I've pulled her aside into our kidding pen so that she can get used to surf her surroundings but now I've got her in lockdown today is her due date I've been letting her out every day and she's actually been a lot see she actually like wants to come up and say hello that is not like her and you guys we kind of called that in the last one you want me oh she's letting me pet her she's not, not a friendly goat she's not she's my loner she doesn't like me she runs from me um last night she was ready to come in here which i was like okay maybe we were getting really close so sweet like this like i have to really take it in because i know odds are she's probably not going to stay like this but this is a surge in hormones but she's up here and she just she's okay with me petting her right yeah she's a pretty girl she's a very pretty girl i'm really excited about her kids i'm also very concerned because she's one of my more petite and slender just her whole frame is just tinier so i've worried and i've really tried to manage her diet so that her kids don't get too big but they're also not so small that they're pulling all the nutrients away from her so and she's loud i've almost never heard this goat's voice like ever So no ligaments this morning at all she's very loud and I just have a feeling we're going to have labor today I have feelings we are going to have babies on the ground which makes me extremely excited I'm really excited about this group of babies I'm excited about all babies but she's got a really great pedigree guys and she's got a fantastic udder I know mama I know mama poor baby so I will be monitoring her She's really close, so. Well guys, she couldn't let me get one of them. <laughs> Hi baby, it's all right. Look at that little baby. Let's get a light on guys, just so we can see. Well, of course guys, she waited for me to go take a shower and with no warning, just pop this little one out. Hello, I'm hoping she's got another in there. No. Look at this little. Oh, so pretty, Mama. You did so good. Oh. You did so good. You're going to have another. Goes the kickstand. Oh God! Just kind of Calm down. Oh God! Oh, nice and easy, okay. She's dropping back. Oh, she's she's trying to, to position. She's not really contracting or she's just getting up and down. Good mama. She's gonna have another one, but right now she's just she's in love with her little doe. We're happy it's a doe. And she's being a good mommy. 
She's not actively pushing though, so when she starts actively having um, contractions, I'll start watching and, and timing. I think we're getting ready to go for round two. That's the second time she's done that. But this little baby has just been adorable. Hi, little. Hi, little. just did is I bounced her. Um, that's the technical term for it. She's not actively pushing it, um, but I do feel like there's a second kit in there. So to check, a lot of times you can bounce your dough. And what that is, is you just place your hands together. You could walk up behind her like I did, place your hands in front of her udder and gently lift. Um, it might cause a little bit of discomfort, obviously, because they're in the middle of kidding but I did feel a mass in there. If you felt nothing but like squishy jelly, just swishy, there's nothing else in there, but I did feel something. So I think she's got another one in there, but she's not actively pushing yet. So I'm not really alarmed. She is getting up and down. I'm probably gonna give her about 10 or 15 more minutes before I do an internal. I don't wanna do an internal. Somebody's having a suckle reflex. Picking a bad spot to push there, Mama. Not really any report to go, dude. I was worried about. I feel like those are, I'm feeling ribs. She's awfully small. I feel like those are ribs. I don't, I'm feeling like. <sighs> so what's that mean? That means she's presenting sideways and that's not good. How do you fix that? That. <laughs> don't ponder too long. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call the vet. So not the second type that we want. Um, she's been progressing for about an hour and 15 so I decided to do an internal so obviously I gloved up to create that barrier between myself and her so I don't create an infection in her uterus and I lubed up and went in and I'm just feeling it feels like a washboard so I'm guessing the kids presenting sideways or rump first um, not back legs first not <laughs> it's just jammed in there so she's a very small frame dough I can't get my hand all the way in so I've called my vet and he'll be calling back soon. Stick with us. I feel like he's either going to come and pull or we're going to have to take her in for a C-section. So <sighs> after talking with our vet, we decided it was time to take Raven in for an emergency visit. Once we got there, it was a traumatic delivery, 25 minutes of hard pulling, repositioning, and we were given a doe kid. She was barely alive, barely breathing and very weak. Here's the new little girl. So we'll see how she does. So while baby is alive, 
Baby is very weak, it was a rough pull. Mommy will be getting penicillin for the next couple of days. I've actually just gotten a little bit of colostrum and I'm going to syringe a little bit into the baby just to kickstart her, but she's squeaking. She's beautiful, but no high expectations because that was a rough pull. She never lost her color. However, things can always turn quickly. See, she I mean, squeaks. Her crying out is a very good sign. Raven's being a good mommy. So I was able to get a little bit of colostrum in her um, by syringing and I've gone ahead and milked a little bit off of Raven just so I have some throughout the night. You guys can tell I'm inside and you can hear her squeaks. We're gonna go ahead and play it safe tonight, bring her in, get her on an electric blanket just to keep her nice and warm and monitor her tonight and then hopefully get her back out with Raven tomorrow if she's showing improved signs of being strong enough. So fingers crossed, but I think that's gonna do it for us today, guys. We'll bring you an update on the little girl um, as soon as we can. Thanks for being with us. If you found yourself enjoying the video, let us know. Drop us a like, leave us a comment, and subscribe. We are exhausted here. We are ready to get her nestled in. We're ready to get nestled in. And until next time, guys, thanks. Bye. Mm -hmm.